Grief, a sense of heartbreak in the air as loved ones and friends remember the life of this mother, Olivia Maldonado de la Torre, who was shot outside of an Arcadia flea market. Her family believes she was killed by her ex-boyfriend. Four days later, he's nowhere to be found. The DeSoto County Sheriff's Office has an arrest warrant out for him tonight. Olivia's loved ones are left to mourn. And the Night Beats, just in case, spoke with them at her vigil tonight. The family told me, of course, they want justice, but right now they are all leaning on one another to get through the pain they're feeling. And look right down here at the vigil and the candles are still lit here tonight. But they tell me that Olivia was the energy of the family. They told me that she would wake up laughing and smiling every day. They also said that she was an amazing mom to her 10 year old daughter. And Olivia's brother told me the love they're feeling from the community is helping them stay strong right now. Do you know what it's like to have a loved one suddenly ripped away from you? A mother, a daughter, a sister, a beloved friend. She was an amazing, amazing mom and sister. Like I'm saying, she was the, the energy for the family. It's a feeling Olivia Maldonado de la Torre's family, including her daughter and friends, never asked for, but are forced to accept. We have to be a strong for 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 my mom because we just lost my dad like uh, three weeks ago and now this happened. Olivia was gunned down at the flea market in Arcadia last Sunday morning. Friends told us Olivia cut hair at the flea market every Sunday and did so for years. I couldn't take it. Yeah, I couldn't deal with nothing like that. Yep, I couldn't do it. And she came, you know, on the weekend and, and did haircuts here at the flea market. Uh, I personally know her. For four years, we were real close friends. Uh, we're actually from the same town in Mexico. On Sunday morning, investigators say this man, Emilio Gustavo Angel Olalde, shot and killed her before running away. Emilio, who family members tell us was an ex-boyfriend of Olivia, is still on the run. People in the Arcadia community, including friends who have been getting their hair cut by Olivia for years, came to a candlelight prayer vigil at the flea market Thursday night. And it was all about showing love to Olivia's family, including her 10 year old daughter. This is uh, very hard for the family, so we try to be a, a strong. We, I don't know how, but we have to be we have to be like that. Arcadia police officers were parked in their patrol vehicles here at the vigil tonight. I asked them if there's anything new in the investigation, anything new in the search for Olivia's killer. They told me there are no new updates, but if you know anything about Olalde's whereabouts, Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers is out offering a cash reward for that information. On the Night Beat, just in case, Wink News.